What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Become a Legend series and today we have an absolutely massive episode. We've got Bayern in the second leg of the UCL and uh, it, it's all down to the team whether or not to make it into the next round because in the last episode we unfortunately picked up an injury and I think this is like my last year of being injured so it's so disappointed I'm not able to get ready for this match. Obviously it's, it's the biggest game of the season so far um, and yeah we have to win it as well because in the first leg we lost one in Latob. It was a terrible game and that might have already ruined this UCL campaign for us uh, but you never know guys uh, in the last game the team actually won 4-2 and I was injured for this one so maybe the guys have picked up some confidence some belief that they might actually go over to uh, to Munich right here and get a result uh, but it's going to be very tough. Last year though we also played against Bayern and we actually scored against them in their stadium so I guess you never know in football um, but uh, we'll have to wait and see guys um, I'm not going to be totally shocked or too upset today if we go out because you know it's it, it's pretty much almost an impossible task here so I'm not really expecting anything guys but uh, you never know with this Ajax team guys uh, it, it, at our best I feel like we can beat absolutely anyone so let's go ahead and see what happened and uh, oh my god we've won 3-2 I had to double check that guys because I cannot believe it we have actually scored three goals in Germany and Bayern have also scored a goal but somehow we have won it. I, I I cannot believe it, guys. I owe everything to the team. Obviously, I was not even able to play it. So, uh, I didn't really expect that at all, guys. We are actually into the next round of the UCL. And I wish I could watch the highlights or something of this one. Because that must have been insane. I, I wonder who scored. Um, so, Real Madrid has have won 4 nil in aggregate. Juventus are through to the next round. Napoli knock out Tottenham. Inter knock out Fenerbahce. City knock out Lyon. PSG have also knocked out Liverpool, guys. And let's go Madrid as also into the next round with a 4 nil victory in total over Bayern Leverkusen. So, that is massive. This Ajax team still lives on, guys in this competition that is very very special obviously I'm, I'm disappointed I was not able to play it but a 3-1 a victory in their stadium I would have never expected guys so we get super lucky we are still uh, in this competition and now we have yes guys this is what I was hoping for I said in the last episode if there is a team that I want to you know hope that we get in the, in the UCL knockout stages it is Juventus and now we have them as well we're going to be going to their stadium uh, um, which is going to be incredible. The first leg is going to be at home though. So hopefully we have a better game than we did against the Bayern. We have a Real Madrid against Inter as well. Atletico versus City and PSG against Napoli. Wow, these remaining games guys of the UCL is absolutely massive. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about Juventus. I cannot wait to play in their stadium of course. Um, so let's take a look at the messages. Yes, we are back now. So that is nice to see you guys. You know, only a small injury but uh, I lost a couple of big games. So now I'm ready to go again I want to get back out there get some goals this is also the last game before we have the first leg against Juventus so we have to have a good game guys Tadic gets to that one and he hits the crossbar I really didn't think anything would, uh, would happen out of that uh, cross but uh, wow Tadic almost gets himself a goal come on Sander We'll uh, give it to uh, Alvarez here, I'm pretty sure, or uh, the number 23 at least. Tadic turns again. So we've got a corner kick in the 23rd minute. It's been a good start from Ajax, but unfortunately the corner is taken short. I hate short corners, uh, but we're still passing the ball around there. Graven Birch now, and we give the ball away. There we go, we've stolen it, and the Tadic gets it back to us. Come on, Sander. I know we've been injured, but... Let's see, we whip it into Anthony and what an assist, guys, what a goal. That is absolutely incredible. The link up keeps uh, going as well in this episode. We had a couple of assists and goals to each other in the last episode as well. So, uh, wow, that is another assist for us, guys, in our uh, career. And uh, it was not a bad one, to be honest. A nice cross, but, I mean, the finish is even better. So, they do make a passing mistake. We uh, we play some nice football there with Tadic and uh, yeah, we find uh, Anthony in the box and I have to say this is the best front three in my opinion of Ajax. When we have Tadic in the middle, Anthony on the right, you know, they're, they're switching it up so much. But when I play with these players, uh, I definitely get the best out of myself um, and I think we, we really know each other well. So 
Yeah, guys, what a uh, what a goal. Really important to get that one before halftime. Nothing to complain about so far. We have dominated the match and, um, you know, haven't really conceded any chances either. So let's just keep going like this and uh, maybe we can get even another goal. And we have conceded a massive goal there, guys. Wow. 1-1 one, one in the game now and it's it's a really good goal, you know. It's a very, very impressive stuff from the other team. And um, yeah, it's it's a crazy finish into the, you know, top right almost. So yeah, disappointing to concede, but I have a feeling we can get, you know, still a victory here. So not a good attack from the other team, guys. They almost actually take the lead now. So uh, they really have woken up in this game all of a sudden. And they're playing really good football. Look at this, guys. It would have been a beautiful goal. Oh my god, it hits Anthony in the back. And um, yeah, I, I don't know if it would have gone in anyway. It was a pretty weak shot. But um, yeah, a little bit disappointed with myself there. Come on, guys. Let's keep chasing this goal. Try over right now. Nice touch, and uh, he loses it. I'm really disappointed about our second half. We uh, played so bad, guys. I, I don't know what happened, and we could have even almost lost the game. So, yeah, that's not the best. I, I didn't feel, you know, too good either, because obviously we are just back from an injury, so not the best stamina, not uh, too sharp on the ball. Uh, but hopefully, you know, it, it's going to be better in the next game. Uh, we anyway got an assist, which isn't too bad, but uh, yeah, a little bit disappointed about that second half anyway was uh, nothing to be uh, extremely happy about. So, um, yeah, we, we do draw the game. Um, and, you know, we are obviously seven points ahead of the PSV. So, I think the league is already pretty much won. There isn't many games left of the season either. Um, but, you know, we still want to try and get as many uh, victories and points as possible. So, now we have seven assists. As I said in the last episode, I'm hoping to get double digits assists as well for the season. That would be absolutely huge for me. So, uh, yeah, now it is uh, this next game, guys, against the Juventus. Wow, it is going to be huge. I cannot wait to play against them. Never played against them before, obviously. And this is the first leg. So we need to do better uh, than what we did against, obviously, Bayern Munich last time. We are starting the game as well. And now we have also learned the double touch skill move. So that is nice to see. Cannot wait to test that out. There is only one more thing to do before this massive game. And that is to get back the uh, hair color guys yes we uh, we had this hair color last year in the ucl uh, the knockout rounds especially in the quarterfinals where we you know had some amazing performances against real madrid against bayern um you know i scored against Inter as well i'm pretty sure so it, it was special guys and it was because of this haircut this is my ucl haircut guys so uh, yeah we have to bring it back now i am ready to go against juventus let's have a look at the juventus team then they've got the chesney the Miral, pellegrini the lit quadro though Bernadeschi, Ranocchi, Arthur, Alexandro, Piaka and Dybala up front. So it's an interesting team guys. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Of course Juventus have been very good in this competition but uh, so have we. I feel like we can get something out of it so let's just get right into it. Have a good game. Arthur with the shot. Juventus are playing some very good football right now guys. They've had uh, the most possession in this half that is for sure. But uh, let's not concede. Let's just, yeah, you know, do everything to try and avoid that. Because if they get an away goal, that makes it much more difficult in the second leg. Here they come again. Another shot, guys. But uh, this, uh, this one isn't too good. But yeah, Juventus definitely have started the best. So let's see if we can finally do something here. We get the ball back from Allaire. This is amazing football, and uh, we do find Anthony as well, and referee. Yeah, that is a free kick. So, um, I don't know if we can shoot from this range, but we obviously we do have Daily Blint on it, and uh, he's absolutely incredible. So, uh, we'll see what happens. He has gone with a shot as well, and it's the best goal of the season, guys. No question about that. It hits the crossbar, and it goes in. What a moment. And uh, he, he's got to be the best uh, free kick taker in the world at this point. Look at this, at least 30 yards out. And uh, it doesn't even look like he went in. But of course, it uh, it, it did because we have the uh, the goal line technology and everything like that. 
Look at it, guys. Absolutely unbelievable free kick. And uh, we take the lead against Juventus. What a way to end the first half then. We really needed that because Juventus has been... Uh, by far the best team in this half. They have had the most possession, most chances. That free kick is pretty much the only thing that we have really created. So uh, yeah, we will take it though, guys. What a goal. And let's get into the next 45. Let's whip it in. And Anthony does get there. And it's just gone wide. We almost have another assist there as well. Look at this. Haller gives the ball back to us. And it's very similar to the last game. Uh, that's cross and finish, but unfortunately, it does not go in. No, Dybala has stolen it, and uh, it's it's almost 1-1, guys. We have to be careful right there. Right from the goal kick as well. Could have gone really bad. The windy header, and uh, yeah, Dybala is through just like that. But of course, we've got an unbelievable keeper, so he saves us again. There we are, and the first time shot is terrible. Yeah, that might be the next trait that we learn, guys, because the, the, the first time shots are just on a different level of bad. Look at this, what a massive opportunity. We get it to Graven Birch, it's a really good pass. And he finds Haller almost. Yeah, guys, it's been uh, almost uh, in a lot of cases this much. We, we just cannot seem to get this the second goal, unfortunately. And there we go. Dybala on the ball, and he's made it 1-1. That is so unnecessary at the very end of the game as well. We just needed to hold on for a few more minutes, and uh, Dybala has been dangerous all night. And uh, he uh, gets his goal in the end, guys. So, yeah, that makes it uh, 10 times worse. Would have absolutely loved to keep a clean sheet in this one. But now they've got their away goal. Which means that we at least have to score uh, at their stadium. So, yeah, that is, uh, that is very disappointing, guys. Let's see if we can still have one more chance here. Maybe a cross. The cross gets whipped in, but the delic tends it out. Come on, don't lose the ball, guys. And, of course, we've lost it. And, yeah, that is going to be the end of this one, then. We have to go to their stadium and uh, really, really perform. It is going to be a tough one, guys. But uh, it's definitely Juventus who has the uh, best result from this game. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's it was pretty even. There was chances for both teams, but... Juventus guys, they I would say they had the, the better chances and played the better football as well. So this is how it went in the other games. Real Madrid won 1-0 against Inter at home. Uh, City won 4-1 against Atletico Madrid away. That is unbelievable. And of course the PSG beat Napoli 4-2. So uh, if we make it into the semi-finals, there is going to be you know an unbelievable team that we face. Um, so it's going to be super tough. But now we have one more game before the next leg in the championship. Champions League so uh, hopefully we can go ahead and have a good result here and maybe I can get myself a goal as well I still haven't scored since I got back from that injury this is amazing and uh, wow I thought the keeper would catch it but uh, he chooses to uh, <laughs> to punch it away so that, this has been a good start to the match I'm looking uh, looking better and better now This is, oh, the shot, of course, is, uh, is not the best, but uh, this is incredible football. It's a liquid football, it's the Ajax style, and uh, if that shot was just on target, it could have gone in, would have been a beautiful goal. Go on, center, and oh my god, we get super lucky, guys. It actually deflects in, so uh, yeah, first goal, back from injury, we pull out the C celebration again, and uh, there we also tested out the uh, new skill move that we have learned, which is the double touch, but as you guys can see, it goes much quicker than it's ever done before. 
So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Am I gonna get the goal for that one? Or, or is it an old goal? Maybe it actually, uh, yeah, I think I actually, yeah, get the credit for it. So, uh, we take it. 1-0, guys. And um, this is the best I've looked since that injury. Nicely done from the team. But they have a free kick. Okay. Yeah, that, that's not the best. But um, hopefully, no... Uh, no goals conceded at the very end. There he also picks up a yellow card. So we are there in the wall. And uh, the ball does not go into the net. So in every single game this episode. We have had a 1-0 lead at half time. But in the second half we have conceded. So you know hopefully this game does not end 1-1. That would be very frustrating. Oh my god. I cannot believe it. They almost get the goal as well. This is absolutely insane, guys. I don't know what's going on in this episode. But uh, we, we do win the ball in the end. And we've given it away right after. Are they really going to get their goal, guys? Like how every other game has gone so far. Here they are again. Crosses it in. And this time again, guys, they get close. Get to that one, Sander. Come on. There we go. This is perfect. I will pass it into Todic. No, what am I doing? I really should not have passed it, guys. I uh, was stressing about what to do there. I had way too much time. <laughs> so uh, that's not always the best case. But now the other team, guys, they really are going to get their goal, aren't they? Look at this. And oh my god, what an entertaining game. We get the only goal of the match, uh, but they were very close to scoring, guys. So, uh, I don't know, I think this maybe was the last game of uh, at our home stadium of uh, in the league. I'm not totally sure. So, I, I, I don't know. Uh, it could maybe be the last match, of course. Uh, but maybe, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, we win 1-0 and PSV have also won their game. So, it was important that we got this victory now. Uh, that pretty much confirms that we are going to be winning the uh, title this season, which is nice back-to-back. -back. And that was actually my goal number 30 of the season. What a what a milestone to get to 30 goals in a year, guys. It's very special stuff. Um, 37 goal contributions in the last 39 matches. We have to be very happy about that, guys, in our third season as a professional football player. So now we've got, of course, Juventus in the second leg. It is absolutely huge. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we, we have a 1-1 a one, one in the first game. I don't know what's going to be happening in this one, guys. But uh, what I know is that we have to get at least one goal. And then we'll see what happens. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. This is the biggest game of the season so far. I cannot wait to play at this stadium, guys. It's one of the stadiums which, uh, you know, is uh, it's almost on my list, I would say, of places I would love to play football. Um, so it is definitely special to be here and um, I cannot wait to see how this one goes. There is a Champions League semi-final on the line here and uh, if we win the game we are going to be facing uh, at least uh, Real Madrid, uh, City or let's go or it, it could still be Inter again because uh, they could definitely pull off a comeback and they obviously won the Champions League last year so never rule them off. But uh, look at the uh, Juventus supporters, guys. And then we have the Ajax fans as well, who has taken the trip over to uh, these, uh, this stadium. So, absolutely special. Champions League music and everything. Uh, you know it's, it, it's real when you hear that uh, sound. So, uh, we, have the, we have the hair color, guys. This is my lucky hair color. I hope it's going to pay off today. And let's take a look at Juventus team. They are going for uh, a, a couple of changes from the last game. So uh, this is going to be intense, guys. Wow, massive performance needed. We have to score, of course. So there's a lot of pressure. But let's see what happens. Tadic on the ball. Into Anthony. Goes with the shot. And what a start it is, guys. After three minutes, we have ourselves a goal. And uh, this guy has been on fire recently. He has scored already in this episode. He scored goals in the last episode as well. And it's an incredible finish. There we have our away goal as well, which is super important, obviously. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at this replay. So Juventus make a mistake here in the, in the midfield. We pick up the ball. Tadic. And uh, of course it is Tadic, guys. He's dictating the attack all the time. And what a finish it is, guys. Yeah, incredible curved shot. And uh, it's, it's a dream start to the game. That is amazing, guys. Let's keep going. 
Dybala on the ball now, and he gets it back. This is incredible football from Juventus, but our keeper saves us yet again. I, I, I cannot stress how much the, uh, our keeper has uh, has saved us this season. It's unbelievable. Another insane moment for him right there, and uh, he's definitely top two player of the season for Ajax so far, guys. What a player. And uh, now Juventus with a corner kick though. Let's uh, make sure nothing happens there. Head it out, guys. Oh my god. Good football from Juventus. Once again, Dybala on it now. And uh, don't make a penalty, guys. There we go. We win it in the end. And uh, let's bring it forward then. Let's see what we can do. We don't have too many options, but we'll play it to uh, Tadic. Who gets it back to us as well. Let's cut inside. Here we go. Massive opportunity. Still going. And uh, yeah, of course, they do manage to uh, to stop my shot. Massive chance, guys. Uh, but Ajax have had a good start to the game. Let's keep pushing for the second goal. If we get two away goals, that means that Ajax has to score three. So uh, that would be huge. This is good from Juventus, and they have missed the biggest chance ever. Yeah, guys, that might be one of the reasons, um, you know, if Juventus goes uh, goes out of this uh, game, that has to be, uh, you know, their own fault, because they're missing huge opportunities. Tadic whips it in, and we are there! But no, we are not able to get it on target. That could have been the second goal. Absolutely huge opportunity. Tadic does really well here against the Delict. He whips it in and uh, we get there in the end. That is a good pass to Daily Blin and now he finds Kudus. Let's see what Kudus does. He gives us the ball. Come on Sander, can we whip this one in? Yes we can and uh, we find nobody though. But we've still got the ball. Delict, I mean... Uh, Blind over to us and uh, let's see I play the ball that is a good pass we get it back and uh, oh my god what a huge opportunity to get our second goal guys and uh, that is it for the first half what a game it has been so far hopefully we can keep going like this and just not concede anything but yeah wow anything could happen here I feel What is going on? Juventus have their goal in the end. Oh no. I didn't properly see what happened right there, guys. But uh, it was absolutely chaos in the box. And um, yeah, they, they do get their goal. They, they probably did deserve it. Look at this. They win the first header. The Ligt is playing as a striker almost. And yeah, they get it in the back of the net. So it's all even again now, guys. Nicely done, Sander. Come on. Play it to... Ooh, okay. Tadic on it now. And he finds Anthony with the best pass I've ever seen. And this is beautiful. What an attack. And he's got two goals. He is becoming the main star of this Ajax team, guys. But I don't really care. It's, it's a team sport. And uh, you know what? He deserves it. He's been an incredible player. And we start the attack as well. We win the ball. Gravenberg finds Tadic, who's one of our best players. And that pass to... Anthony is, is unbelievable guys what a performance and now Juventus actually needs two goals to beat us Wow, I think we've done it Come on Kudus gets there and now we have so much space come on give me the ball There we go and Sander the shot gets stopped, but Tadic ends up with it. Oh my god now It is Juventus guys. They are having so many players forward so we might have the chance here to get uh, the third goal, actually. Here we go. Come on. He's still going. He's done very well. He is still going here. And referee, no free kick. Three minutes at the time then. And uh, it is pretty much uh, confirmed, guys. We are going to be going through... To the semi-final of the UCL, which obviously we did get there last uh, year as well, but then we lost to Inter, so... As I said at the beginning of the season, I, I think we could go even further this year, 
And uh, we are, you know, getting there, guys, step by step. What a match, 2-1 victory. It was very deserved, I felt like. Uh, but it, at the same time, it could have gone really bad because Juventus had a couple of very good moments in the game. Um, and, you know, when they got that, you know, first goal of the game, they, they could have got another one right after. So I'm very happy that, you know, we have an incredible keeper, a little bit of luck. Not the best performance for myself, but it was incredible to play at this stadium. And uh, it, it's nice that, you know, if I don't turn up, at least another one of our uh, teammates can do it. And I feel like I haven't been the same since that injury as well, guys. So, you know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens in the next games. But Real Madrid has knocked out Inter. That is absolutely huge. Manchester City has knocked out Let's Go Madrid. And PSG have knocked out Napoli. So, it, I, I, it doesn't really matter, guys. The next game that we get now in the semi-final is going to be against a top three team in the world. So, yeah, that is uh, absolutely Crazy guys, we'll have to wait and see who we get, but um, I, I think we have a couple of league games before the semi-finals begin um, So we're gonna have to play them as well Hopefully get some nice momentum and I've just noticed it guys. I've just seen it. We've got Real Madrid Of course, we did knock them out last year at the Bernabeu. We actually scored as well But I don't know what's gonna be happening this year guys. It's a semi-final as well so that is going to be massive. Real Madrid, not an easy team to uh, to play against, but we have beat them before. So that is at least something. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see, guys. That is going to be absolutely huge. But as I said, before we have that game, we still have a couple of matches to play in the league. And hopefully we can get some goals now, get some, you know, sharpness again. Because I haven't been the best in this episode. So I really hope that uh, we have a good performance now. Uh, before the Real Madrid game. And yeah, that is uh, going to be a crazy one. There we go! Oh, I saw a little bit of space there, guys. I wasn't actually going to shoot, but then I noticed that the keeper was standing way to the side. So it almost actually worked out. But it's been a nice start to this uh, match. I'm feeling pretty sharp already. Tadic whips it in and uh, the ball falls to Gravenberch. Come on, there we go. We take a touch and... Uh... Yes, there we go. We'll get past him. And uh, we'll play back to Tadic. No, and Anthony gets there. This is... Oh my god, imagine if that went in, guys. Past one, there we go. Still going here. Let's whip it in and we find... Oh no, he's hit the crossbar. Oh, that could have been another amazing assist, guys, as well. And it could have been yet another goal for Anthony, but this time a little bit unlucky. We have our goal. I cannot believe it. How many chances did we need in this game? And it is Tadic with another crosshair. And I think it is Anthony who gets another headed opportunity. That's an unbelievable save. But we are there on the rebound again. So yeah, what a half we've had. We've had so many chances created. A lot. Played good football. So it is deserved that we get the lead there. Uh, but once again, it's not uh, me that scores. Which is a little bit frustrating. I need to get some more goals, guys. Um, but yeah, just just look at the way we've dominated this. Yeah, the, surely we win this game. Oh my god, these tackles. Roman Birch, and uh, he gets it to us. Beautiful touch as well. And uh, we cannot uh, get the cross in, but we do have a corner kick. So let's see what we can do from this one. Is it time to get myself a goal, maybe? We need a good delivery into the box. Let's go, Sander. Get up for this one. And oh my god. It's just above the goal. I cannot seem to get the goals right now. How have I not scored that chance, guys? I've actually been the sub that, guys, in the 78 minutes. Uh, I don't feel like I've had a terrible game. Come on, Noah Long. Yeah, we, we win it 1-0. A little bit lucky that the goal that we ended up getting, though, was... Uh, yeah, from an amazing save. And, of course, it was there in the end. 
But uh, we really should have scored more goals in this match, that is for sure. So we've got one more league game before the Real Madrid match. Um, so now 73 points, surely it is all over. I mean, how many more games can there be in this uh, league season right now? Uh, I, I thought it would be almost over already. Uh, but obviously, uh, we, we still have a couple of more to go. We are now in April. Um, so yeah, we've got one match here now, guys, before Real Madrid. Absolutely huge. And maybe now we can... Oh my god, what is this? Once again, guys, I get injured again. But luckily, I... Uh, I get back like looks like the same day so I don't want any injuries now before this Real Madrid match I cannot believe this yeah guys you know it's towards the end of the season there's been so many matches and no wonder we have a couple of injuries but luckily guys we are back very quickly let's get into the game no wonder I'm getting injuries when I'm being tackled like this but here we go this is good football we go with the shots What a run this is. Absolutely unbelievable. Can we shoot it as well? Oh my god, what a messy SK goal that would have been, guys. We went past like three players in total here. Uh, but obviously, it's a bit of a difficult angle to shoot from. I wasn't even sure if I was going to get there in the end. But um, yeah, nice run. There we are. Come on, surely now we have our goal. And uh, what a save. I mean, what a terrible shot as well, though. Almost no par behind it. So, um, yeah, as you guys can see right there, though, I'm not comfortable with shooting with my left foot at the moment. But we have got the ball again. Pass one. And then the shot. It's a good finish as well. Nice touch. Come on. No, whole referee. Why you gotta blow the whistle there? I mean, I'm massive chance right there, so... Yeah, uh, we have dominated the first half, guys, but still, I am missing that goal. Almost 1-0 to the other team. Suddenly, they uh, start playing like a prime Barcelona there. There we go! No, I cannot believe this. I just simply doesn't want to go in for us at the moment. Very frustrating stuff. Another massive chance there. It was on our left foot though. But just look at the touch and everything. I, I do everything perfect except, you know, the finish. So, um, yeah. It's, I, I don't know what's happened, guys. We used to be on a, on a streak with goals every single match. But uh, today I think I've only got uh, one goal in total. Which uh, isn't the best, especially at this stage of the season as well. The final run-in. You want to be um, on, on top of your game at this moment. But it's once again been a long season. I've been playing a lot of matches. And I just look a little exhausted here. But we're going to have to try and find, uh, find the, the goal net again. Especially now that we have Real Madrid and massive Champions League games coming up. Look at this though. I am being tackled all of the time. And... It, don't tell me I'm injured. Please don't tell me I'm injured, guys. Oh, no. This is the worst. This is my worst nightmare, guys. This is my worst nightmare. I'm probably going to be out against Real Madrid. That is... Uh, that is football, you know. <laughs> I cannot believe it. All of these... Do we have a penalty? I think we have a penalty, guys. But uh, I cannot even be too happy about it. Because surely now I'm going to be missing... The rest of the season. I'm, I'm gonna be missing everything, guys. What a goal that is from Tadic, by the way. Absolutely beautiful. We will take that. But, uh, yeah, guys. I cannot even be too happy right now. Because I, d I don't know what's happening with us. How long are we gonna be out for? Sometime in July. We have a ligament injury. We have a ligament, guys. That's the worst injury you can get in football. Simple as that. I'm going to be back in July, which is in like three or four months. So, uh, I didn't expect this episode to be the season finale, but it's, it's actually happened. I'm going to be missing all of this. And I'm not going to be back until somewhere here. Uh, yeah, not, not even this season. I'm, I'm not going to be back this season. Sim simple as that. So, yeah, now we have the... Uh, look at this. Three months. 
three months to recover. So, I don't want any injuries now before this Real Madrid match. I cannot believe this. Three, three months, you know. This is... Oh, I cannot believe it. Okay, let's let's see how the rest of the season goes then. And we actually get an amazing result in the first leg. I cannot believe it. We're actually... It looks like we might make it to the Champions League final here. And I'm not going to be playing in it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna think if, if we make it to the Champions League final. A, a little part of me actually hopes that we don't make it there, but obviously if we do, and obviously if we win it as well, we are gonna get ourselves a Champions League medal. So that would be absolutely huge, but um, the, the fact that I might, or I'm not gonna be there is uh, it's very, very sad, guys. So uh, now we've got the second leg against Real Madrid. It is time to find out if Ajax are gonna get to the Champions League final, guys. Anthony says we're not done yet. Wow, it is time to find out if we make it to the UCL final. I almost don't wanna know what happens and we made it. <laughs> we are in the Champions League final and I'm not gonna be playing. Is this the worst thing that can happen to a, to a football player? And it's against PSG as well, so yeah. We actually make it further than we do did last year, but we are not gonna be there, guys. I mean, I, I'm gonna cheer for the team, hope that we can, you know, get the victory. Uh, obviously, it would be nice to to win the Champions League, even if you cannot play it. Into the UEFA Champions League final, they'll be up against PSG. That is absolutely huge, guys. So, uh, yeah, we are obviously still injured. We cannot do too much about that ligament injury, you know, so... It is going to be our first UCL final in our career, but I'm not going to be playing in it. So even if we win it, you know, I'm still going to feel like I, I have never made it to the final. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to see how uh, how this goes, guys. And I don't know if this is going to be stopping any other teams from potentially buying me because, you know, this is the summer where we're going to be taking the next step. So if I'm injured for like three months, I have picked up a few injuries this season. So I don't know if teams are looking and thinking, you know, uh, let's not buy him because he's very injury prone. Um, the Eredivisie team of the season has been announced and as you guys can see we have made it there which obviously is very deserved Kudus has made it as well in my opinion, Onana deserved to be in there uh, But yeah guys we made it there, you know back to back seasons actually three seasons in a row We have made a team of the season and um, yeah, we've obviously got so many goals It, it was an incredible year for us uh, and now it's still not over because we've got the Champions League final. Obviously, we have not been selected for Norway because we are injured. Um, so, yeah, the next stop, guys, is the final, which is which is huge. And um, if we could beat PSG, that would be insane. But I really just want to see how the other teams have done it this season. In the Premier League, for example, who won the Premier League? It was Manchester City, so... Congratulations to them. Um, what do we have? Yeah, let's, let's actually see how Huddersfield have done. They are 18th, which, uh, you know, isn't the best. Uh, when we were at Huddersfield, we were obviously making uh, almost the playoffs. We, I think we got 7th. So, um, yeah, they have fallen off a little bit right there. I really want to find out how many goals we ended up with in the league, guys. I know that I won it, but uh, 23 goals. Second is 16. Third is 14. That is absolutely huge, of course. By far the best season that we've had in our career so far. So hopefully it just gets better and better every single year, guys. But we can still, you know, end it off on uh, on the biggest thing you can win in club football, the Champions League. We've already knocked out Real Madrid. We've knocked out Bayern. We've knocked out Juventus. And now we've got the final boss, guys, which is PSG. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we're going to be ending it up, guys, on a Champions League victory with Ajax. Even though I'm not going to be playing it. And, oh my god, 4-2 to Ajax, guys. I don't believe it. We've absolutely smashed it this season with Ajax. It is so disappointing that I was not able to play the final. And it, it kind of feels like I haven't won it, you know. Even though we have, we have literally won the Champions League, guys. Ajax have picked up another Champions League trophy. Uh, this is absolutely huge, and, and football is uh, is restored again. This is this is incredible. We beat PSG in the final. This is a victory for not just us, guys. 
but football in general. And what a way to do it. What a final it's been. And uh, look at this, guys. We're actually now up to an 83 rated. Uh, but you know what? Even though we just won the Champions League, this makes me want, want to win it again even more. Because of the fact that we didn't play in the final, you know. So, uh, yeah, that is huge. What a victory. And 83 rated. Crazy end to the season. So now we obviously have uh, the summer coming up. And it is going to be, uh, you know, pretty exciting to see where we end up with. I've actually made an injury here as well. So uh, Sander shared a few words on what it's like to be at the top of the tree. I've dreamt of this day since I was like uh, five years old. And now it's come true. Although I'm still struggling to believe it. Thank you to whatever higher power made this happen. Yeah, guys, special, special moment. And uh, I have to show you something. They did send us um, this in the in, in the mail because I was not able to, uh, to be there. If we open it up, you can see that it is indeed a medal, guys. So even though we were not there, we still have the medal. So there we go, guys. Champions League winners. I, I cannot believe it. This is... This is huge, and as I said before, I want to win it again. So, I'll catch you guys in the next episode where we are going to be going to a brand new club. What a time I had with Ajax, though. Um, absolutely special moments. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for the amazing support, and who knows where we end up next season.